Okay, we're going to continue with lesson four. We have some background music because learning without music is so boring. It's the worst thing in life. So uh, we were uh, at the part that said Dele. I said Del in poetry in Farsi is refer referring to heart and this A sound at the end of it is equivalent to letter of so that is foreshadowing or that's actually trying to tell you that this heart is going to belong to someone so you have to wait to see what's the next word because that someone is coming at the next word. So the next word here is man. Man in Farsi uh, means I. Well, you can say heart of I in English. The, True translation for it is heart of mine. So it could have said heart of yours. Just a fun fact for that, it would say Dele to. Dele to. To in Farsi or in Persian means you. In informal way. So you could have said heart of you, but you can translate it in English this way. It means heart of yours. Okay. She then digress, coming back to the poetry. How are you going to write Dele in Farsi? D in Farsi is written like this. So when you want to say alphabet D in Farsi, you have to draw this shape. And in Farsi, you're not going to write letter E. So these sounds are missing in the written language of Farsi and they expect you to know it. So Dele is actually written like this. This is the form that is um, equal to the letter L. So when they say Del they create it, they draw this form. In Arabic, they do use the sound E and they write it down here, Dele. But in Farsi, they do not do that. And what are you going to draw or what are you, how are you going to write man? Or it should have two A because you have to put a stress in the A, so it's like going for some time before you get to the letter M. So it's like man. So the only way I can uh, tell you so that you can understand this is when in English they say, oh man. So when you say, that, say it like that, that's somewhat similar to the way they say man in Farsi and this is how you're going to write it letter M in Farsi the original version of letter M the same way that it goes in the alphabet is written like this M No, the original version is like this.
So, in no way you can see similarity between M and M in Farsi. But that's how you have to memorize it or you have to know it. So this is M, letter A, because it sounds like an elongated A, man. Again, that is something that they don't really write it in Farsi. I think the pronunciation is missing in um, Farsi language and they want you to just know it. So they're not going to write that. And for the letter N, the alphabet in Farsi is like this. Now all you have to do is to attach this and this. And you have to know this elongated sound of ah by, your, by yourself. So they're not going to let you have it in a written um, word. So as I said, when you want to attach one alphabet in Farsi to the, another one, it has to end with that straight line. So they eliminate this part. So now it's ready. You see this a straight line? You have to just, all you have to do is attach this to this. So it will be like this. But how are you going to know that this sounds like man? You're on your own because they don't have this on top of it that says man. Okay, so now we're moving on to the next one. There is this verb that's more like a slang because I don't think in dictionary you can find that. This verb is called zero rule. And that means something zero rule that means upside down, something collapsed, something become overthrown. Z means under something. So if this is your surface, beneath this surface is called Z. If it's a table, beneath the table it's called Z. And when they say Z, Ro, ru, ru, this is another slang or another way of referring to face. So if a surface or a face of something become upside down, that the beneath part come to the top part and the top part goes to the bottom, that means some, 